I don't, I don't really know. I mean, as an awake person, when you can't reach out to people, I mean, what, what are you supposed to do and how are we supposed to keep, keep our hopes up? I mean, yeah. it's, uh, it's so depressing when you think of it. Yeah, it is because the conditioning on most people, when you see them and they can't look you in the eye or they think you're crazy, is because the condition has taken perfectly on them. And you're looking, you're looking at conditioned robots, really. And they'll turn on you too. At the right time, they'll turn on you. Uh, but that's the perfect conditioning. The ones who are awake generally have always been awake or they've known something was wrong. And they can't be conditioned quite the same way. Uh, but you're in amongst most people where the conditioning has worked perfectly, and that's the problem. Uh, I've always said the, the elite have a symbiosis uh, amongst the masses of people, the general mass of people, because the masses always look towards government to solve problems, even if it's a fake problem put out by the government. They, 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 we immediately run to help us, save us, you know. Uh, and uh, uh, there's only very few people in between, in the middle, uh, who don't want to be stinking rich and, and rule everyone else's lives for them, and they don't want to belong to the general mob uh, that just goes and watches all the porn on their internet all day long, or ball games or whatever. Uh, so, so it's a small group, really, who don't belong in, in, in to either uh, camp. Uh, that's a problem. Because, because, as I say, the masses have a symbiotic relationship with, with the elite, and eventually, when they get all their agendas through, uh, the elite will turn around and say, we couldn't have done it without you to the masses. Yeah, and, and, and that's such a... I, I think it's disgusting. It, there's no other word for it. It's just mm-hmm. utterly disgusting. Yeah? It, it is, and it's very depressing until you realize uh, that uh, you, be, you might be surprised how many of those in between who are not brainwashed or conditioned and who don't seek personal power uh, can still have a voice and start changing things around. And that's the only hope that we have is, is to postpone it at least a, a long enough. They'll either wither away or they'll come out with an even heavier hand. And for and then, but that's when the, even the masses start to see it uh, and they know something's wrong when the heavy hand of the monster comes upon them. And uh, and that's what it might take. Stall them long enough until the see timetables. It's referring to those at the top cannot be stalled. If you can stall it, their timetables, they get awfully angry and they start using force. Uh, and uh, force is, is at least the use of force uh, terrifies the public and maybe even to waking up a little bit. And that's all we can really hope for. It's because it's too perfect. It's been here too long. Is this system? But we, but we 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 cannot use violence and force. No, they're they're so perfectly good at at getting us to kill each other or fight each other. This has been a strategy for centuries, and uh, it's a perfect art of how to get it all going. Uh, We can't use that at all, And uh, uh, but by the same token, we have to make sure uh, that the elites don't come out with a heavy hand and start using open force on the general public. Here's the thing, too. They have been using force, uh, or at least uh, 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 deadly intentions, on the general public because they know what, how they've been dumbing us down. They know I mean, when they rob your mind, this is the same as killing you. And when they inject things into you too that make the autism bloom, and it also makes everyone uh, quite a few points lower in the IQ scale, makes us all sick so that we'll die off early, infertile, etc. They are physically, uh, literally, this is a targeting, this is a murder, a murder, a, a murderous rampage has been going on for a long time under the usual covert actions of the United Nations that always deny what they're doing. One of the top players in, in this who wrote about it, who taught road scholars back in the, the 40s and 30s, internationalist again, uh, who spoke, by the way, so he made a great speech in Sweden, it was um, Toynbee. There were two Toynbees, father and son, and one took over from the other. But they, they literally taught the Rhodes Scholars for internationalism and to penetrate all governments and push them towards internationalism. He said, we always deny with our mouths what our, what our hands are doing. And that was to become the mantra from, for every organization within the United Nations. We always deny with our mouths what our hands are doing. And, and that's, that's still their strategy today.